This video will walk you through on how to use the user administration feature. To access the page, click the administration from the navigation bar. Your user has to be assigned the proper permission in order to access this tab. The administration page enables you to add new users, edit existing users, or remove users. To search for an existing user, place your cursor inside of the search user or full name and type in the user that you are searching for. You can delete a user by selecting the user and selecting the three vertical dots and hitting delete user. You can also disable a user if they will not be using the system for a length of time. To do so, select on a user and use the three vertical dots and select Disable User. Notice that the system will put a red X next to the username. This means that they are disabled. When they are ready, you can enable them by using the three vertical dots and selecting Enable User. The system will now put a green check mark next to that username. If a user forgets their password or challenge questions, you can reset the questions or password within this menu. To add a user, click on the plus sign. The fields in red are required to be filled out before the system will allow you to save. Note that the phone number is not listed in red, but this will be a required field to fill out. Place your cursor inside of the user field and type the login ID for the user. This is what the user will use in combination with a password to log on to the system. In the full name, enter the user's first name and last name. Enter the user's email address into the email field. This is the email address in which the system will deliver the notifications to them. Use the drop-down box next to the time zone to select the user's time zone. This setting will control how the time is displayed within the application. You can leave the date and time format as the default because the user will have access to change those fields when they log into the system underneath their user profile. The scanner field determines which scanner the user will use within the application. If you do not see the scanner listed in the drop-down box, please call your financial institution for assistance. Remember that the phone number is a required field. To add a phone number, select the three vertical dots and select Add. In the Name field, enter the name of the phone number. For example, you can use Home, Work, or Cell. In the Number field, enter the 10-digit telephone number. The telephone number can include the dashes. If the telephone number has an extension, you can add the extension in the extension field. Once you have filled out the phone number, you can click the plus sign to add the phone number. The final step in creating a new user is to assign them a role, a location, and an account. Use the three vertical roles next to the roles to display the roles that are available to assign to the user. The roles will be listed on the left-hand side while the description of each role will be listed on the right-hand side. A user can be assigned to multiple roles or they can be assigned to only one. If you want to select all, you can use the three vertical dots and hit select all. To deselect all, you can use the three vertical dots and hit unselect all. Once you have assigned the roles, click done. Now use the three vertical dots next to location. Select the location that the user will be assigned to. A user can be assigned to multiple locations, but they have to at least be assigned to one. Once you have assigned the location, click Done. To assign the accounts that the user will have access to, click the three vertical dots next account. A user can be assigned to multiple accounts, or they can be assigned to at least one. After selecting which accounts the user will have access to, select the Done button. Click Save to create the user. The system will display if the user was created successfully. This completes the walkthrough of how to use the user administration feature.